Hello everybody and welcome to my 20 second Visual Basic in Excel tutorial and um, this tutorial is going to go through functions um, so uh, for any of you that have done any kind of coding before you probably know what a function is um, however I imagine quite a lot of you won't so first of all I'm just going to create a quick sub uh, and it's going to be called uh, say or just hello world and then I'm going to have a message box and it's going to say hello world now I don't want this to run off of that what I want to do is have another sub so a second sub and this is going to be button click and what this is going to do is it's going to call this sub here so if I put the keyword call and then the name of the sub and then the open bracket close bracket uh, then I'm going to show you how this works so if I add in a nice little box if I go to drawing uh, let's add that and then let's assign the macro of um, button click. So let's click on this and hello world. So what this has done is clicking the button has started this sub and it's got to here and it's gone cool hello world. So it's stopped temporarily doing the code in this sub and it's gone to this sub and it performs all the codes in this sub and then goes back to this one. Um, this is really 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 useful and saves you a lot of time it can tidy up your codes um, and it makes it a lot easier for other people to use code as you can create a sub and then all other people have to do is call it in their own code um, so here's an example of how it can tidy things up say we want to do everything in here like five times we just go four uh, x equals one two five and then next, so that's just going to do a for loop of doing things five times. So when we run that, it's going to go hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world. Um, and that's because it's calling this sub. It's going, uh, okay, so I'm going to start off on one and I'm going to call hello world. So I'm going to complete this case and then I finish that case. So I'm going to go back into this sub and then I'm going to carry on going down through this sub. We've got next. Uh, so that phrase is back up to the top of the for loop. That goes to two. This goes down and we call hello world again. Um, so this goes back up to here. We do everything in here uh, and then it goes next. So um, I imagine that was kind of fast, but I felt like you probably just understand just from the call hello world. You don't really need to explain explain in that much detail. So hello world, hello world, hello world. Um, okay, so that's how you call a sub so also if we go to say sheet one and we go to worksheet and activate and delete the other one then if we can go from here call and then it was hello world so hello world um, and then so if we go back into uh, here and we go to sheet one and it doesn't like it because I've spelt it wrong so stop that and go over here and then activate then hello world so um, you can call that from anywhere within the same project now notice in here that this one is private sub so if I go into here and put private before my sub and then I go on to sheet 1 and try to activate this and it's going to go sub or function not defined and that's because private means it can only be called from within that same module or section of codes with an object so this can still be called from this section or if we cut it from here then go into sheet 1 and paste it into here then that will still work uh, and that's what private does it stops any of the other ones from using it which also means uh, you can have this one in here um, and they'll both do separate things and it's not going to get confused now 
And you can also, when d doing a, a sub, uh, you can add in what's called an argument. So similarly with your objects before, so a range takes a, a, a string argument that shows what the range is, you can add your own ones in. And you do this by, in the apprentices, which until now you might, might have thought were a bit pointless, this is where they come in and this is where they come important. So you type by val, uh, so like, I think it means by value, but I'm not sure. If anyone knows what it actually means, then please feel free to add a card comment. I'd be interested to know. Um, by val, and then you put a name of a variable. So let's put, and I don't want to be doing it in this one. I want to be doing it in the Hello World one. So by val and uh, the string as and then you declare a variable type so I'm gonna put this one as string you can do as integer you can do as boolean you can do as uh, worksheet you can do as any variable you want so as string and then you can use this variable in your code so you can uh, say uh, the string equals the string and concatenate it with uh, this concatenate with a self and make it a double string um, and then you can use it in the message box the same way you would a normal variable um, and then but when you call it then you notice that if we put this in again say hello world then you've got the arguments come up there which is really handy because it means if you've written your uh, your sub quite a long time ago with arguments it will remind you what they're called so we need to pass in a string so we're going to have uh, hello and you have to put it as an actual in the uh, speech marks that you have for a string. Say hello. Right, so this is going to let's go sheet let's go to sheet one. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Just like a policeman. So what's this doing? Is the event of worksheet activate is happening and then you're calling uh, the hello world uh, sub. So this is this sub down here. And this is passing a string variable from here into here. Um, and then this set of code is running and then it goes back into here. Then you could call it again if you like. So cool hello world and let's have goodbye. So this again is where subs come in real 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 handy because you can input um, different things into the same set of code and you can run it more than once but with different arguments so when we run this hello hello goodbye goodbye so it's doing the same set of code we don't have to write it out twice and it's doing it with the different arguments um, next thing I want to show you um, is that you don't have to necessarily uh, put what that is there. So if we put um, the string equals hello and then let's put hello um, the string, let's pass the string in, so the string and then this will pass whatever the value of the string is which is going to be hello into here as the argument so let's see what happens so we're going to here and it's going for nothing um, so it thinks the value of the string is nothing why is it thinking that uh, And there's a very good reason why this isn't working, and that's because I've tried to pass it a, a variable rather than a string. So if we go back and we run this now, so hello, hello, goodbye, goodbye. And you could even go um, to the extent of, let's call this function, um, uh, well, actually, there was a very important point I was trying to make there, say, and it got ruined by... Um, my uh, error of not putting speech marks in. So if we make this equal to hello again. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another message box here. 
Uh, and for those of you that have done coding before, this is going to show you how scope uh, works. So we've got a variable called the string here, and we've also got a variable called the string here. And we're going to pass the value of that variable to that variable. So let's see what happens when we run the case. So hello, hello, hello. So um, we see that even though in here we've changed the value of the string to hello hello rather than just hello when we go back into here that's that's not passed on um, it goes back to being this one so when you pass a value of a variable through into a sub then that sub does not change the value of that variable it gets passed the value of the variable and then creates a new variable in this sub called the string. So this variable here separate to that variable there. So changing this variable in this sub does not change in this sub. So when you uh, go to the end of here and you end the sub, any variables that were created in here get destroyed and it just goes back to normal with the variables that were being used in this sub. Um, and so when you, uh, well, actually, I kind of cheated there by putting hello rather than the string. Um, and I hope I didn't get proof stupidly wrong now when I go to test it. Um, hello, hello, hello. Um, that would have made my PowerPoint void, which is, I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> but um, yeah, the point is, if you pass a variable as an argument, it does not pass the variable, it only passes the value of the variable and then even if they're the same name they're not the same variable, they're different variables in different subs. Um, so um, I kind of covered subs, next one I'm going to cover is functions because this will show you how to get a value back out of um, calling a section of code. So uh, thanks for listening, if you want to catch into future tutorials then please subscribe to my channel um, and we'll also uh, planning on after I've run out of things to teach you in just case uh, I'm which hopefully won't happen for a while I've still got quite a few things I can show you um, but once I've run out I'm gonna start doing projects um, because I think even though it's quite nice to see little snippets of code you don't really start to learn until you see it put into a full use in a in a full program so if you've got any ideas for projects you'd like to see or anything you're struggling on then please just leave a comment on my uh, profile wall or in the comments under this video and I'll see if uh, I can create a little video on how to create this thing that you want so uh, again thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial